What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I'm going to be customizing my PlayStation 5 with these face plates I bought off of Amazon. <laughs> if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit a like, comment down below, let me know what you guys honestly think. Of course, I'm going to be showing you as well how to take off the face plates on the PlayStation 5. Uh, so stay tuned for that if you guys are curious and want to know how to do that. If you guys are curious to know where I get these, the link is in the video description down below. Amazon, they were 30 bucks. Um, and I'm not done customizing my PlayStation 5, by the way. So make sure you guys are subscribed with those bell notifications turned on because you don't want to miss any of these videos um, because I, I got some fun stuff planned ahead. Now, I'm taking off the PlayStation 5 faceplate and it's super sketchy. One thing you have to do is hold the back of it and um, put either your right or left hand on the top and lift forward while you're sliding down. That is a, the key to removing it. You wanna l l hold it in place, lift up, and slide it down at the same time. A lot of people just try to lift it up. You're gonna break the face plate <laughs> by doing that. Um, if, if you guys saw me take off the face plate, it was actually really sketchy. And, and I did scratch my PlayStation 5 a little bit. Oh, I've only taken it off a handful of times and my PlayStation 5 is dusty, so I wanted to take a quick second to get all the dust off. I know a lot of people use a lot of different things to clean um, and dust their consoles. There wasn't a lot of dust built up uh, for me to justify getting a vacuum and vacuuming it out. A lot of it, to be honest, was cat hair. I have cats in my office, so I just wanted to dust it all out. There was nothing inside or, you know, internally. Um, so it was all just on the outside and I wanted to make sure I got it all off so uh, just a quick uh, brush I get this brush off of Amazon too I'll link it to you guys in the video description down below comes with uh, all the tools you need to open up consoles and stuff it's really handy to have and I have that at my desk all the time now I wanted to show you guys the comparison between the two face plates. As you can see, the Amazon one does not have the PlayStation 5 logo cut out of it, but everything matches up as far as um, where everything goes into place. The size of it, it is all the same. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, because this is a third party aftermarket part for the PlayStation 5. It isn't made by Sony and PlayStation. Uh, even though everything fits perfectly, it's the right size. Uh, this side of the faceplate uh, wasn't as sturdy as the original one, and it took me some time to actually put it on the right way. There was edges that just wouldn't get on the right way, and it just it wouldn't lock into place um, until I literally had my forearms over the top of it. If you guys are trying to do this and you're having a difficult time, I would recommend actually two people having one person in the front and one person in the back as you're sliding it into place. It does fit perfectly and um, I don't have any issues as far as the fit once it's on. But putting it on was a difficult challenge and I've removed the original faceplate a couple of times on my PlayStation 5 and haven't had any issues um, putting it back on. So, wanna point that out there, it is an aftermarket part and it will take you some time to put on at least this side of the faceplate. All right, now that we got that side on, let's go ahead and work on the other side. And again, if you are removing the PlayStation 5 faceplate for the very first time, this side is going to be a little bit different than the other side. You actually don't want to go on the left side, you want to go on the right side. So hold it from the back and then the top hand you're going to go on the right side. You're going to pull up and slide down at the same time. This one was a lot easier to take off than the other side and you will see. Uh, for yourself that it is easier on this side to take off than the other side Because we have the fan on both sides. I do have dust so I wanted to dust it off really quickly 
wanted to show you guys the comparison between the two. Um, they both are identical as far as, uh, you know, even though they're, you know, the black one's a third party one, they are both identical in regards to the fit. And this side was actually honestly a lot easier to put on than the other side was. I didn't struggle as much. So, and you guys will see that right here. I'm like, literally, I'm like, uh, I already got it on? Wait, what? Uh, this can't be happening because the other side took so long. So I like just double checked my work and yeah, it was really easy to put on. All right, there you guys go. How to uh, customize your PlayStation 5, change the face plates, how to remove and reinstall the face plates as well. Uh, just keep in mind the back part, the part with the PlayStation 5 logo might be a little bit more difficult um, to take off and reinstall than the other side. So, um, but I actually really dig the black look on the PlayStation 5 it gives it a whole new feel and I, I I'm actually like I, I love my PlayStation 5 I thought I, some people really like the white look of the PlayStation 5 but I honestly like the black look especially with the accent that it has up against my lights uh, on my setup it's just so much better, uh, in my personal opinion. But i love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about that in the comments down below. Remember to stay tuned because I'm actually not done customizing the PlayStation 5. Um, I got a lot more in store. I got a lot more planned. So please stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.